Well, good afternoon or evening or morning or whenever you're watching this. I would actually love to know when you're watching this. If you're watching it live, go ahead down in the bottom right live in the um, comments. And so I know if you're live and let me know if you're watching the replay. And I'd love to know like what time you're watching the replay. So if you're live again, just put live stuck in there. Hey there, good to see you guys. Mark, Mark from Seward, Nebraska is online. I don't suppose you'd want to jump on here live with me, would you? Let me know. All right, so I want to know if you're watching this live, put live in the, in the comments. If you're watching the replay, put replay in the comments and what time you're watching it. Great to see you guys. What a beautiful day. Where are you coming from, by the way? I am Sue Brooke. I'm live from Sebastopol, California. It is gorgeous today. Absolutely gorgeous. But it's a bizarre time of year because it's cold in the morning and kind of at night. And then during the day, it's like almost 80 degrees. Anyway crazy. All right. So, um, and Mark in Nebraska, I heard it snowed there. That's crazy. Anyway. All right. Let's get to the topic of the live here today. I don't have much time because I'm going to take my computer in to get some work done on it. So what is your business's most valuable asset? The most val valuable asset. Does anybody have an idea of what you think your business's most valuable asset is? And it does not matter what your business is. It doesn't. It doesn't matter what it is. Let me tell you. Anybody have an idea? I don't have anybody typing anything yet. So, all right, I'll tell you what it is. It is your contact list. It is your list. Your list of past customers, current customers, prospects, anything like that. Your list is your golden, the golden ticket to your business. If you do not have your list in some sort of order and segmented into who is who, where do, where you met them, if they're past current contacts or uh, customers or contacts, it's super important for you with your business to get your contact list together. There are so many people that I know that are out there and they, they have no idea. They don't have a, a list of all their past sales. They don't have uh, details about the people on their list. It is so important that you keep a spreadsheet or you get a CRM or something to keep your contact list together and make sure you know who these people are. So I have thousands of people on my list, right? I have lots and lots of people on my list. And if I don't keep track of where I've met them, and I, I have to admit, made a huge mistake. I didn't do that for many years. And you know what? You'll go back and you'll see someone's name and you have no clue who they are. And how are you supposed to build relationships with those people when you aren't keeping track of the people on your list? So the thing I talk about all the time is in marketing, the most important part of marketing is building relationships. It's, it's what the whole world is about. It's built on relationships. So when you have your contact list together, make sure you take notes and you maybe put pictures of them. Make sure you have their mailing addresses. You all know that I'm a big fan of mailing out greeting cards to people and thank you cards to people. It is the new way of being in contact. Emails aren't so great anymore. And the other thing is, if you are sending out uh, any marketing materials, emails, text messages, greeting cards, whatever, um, greeting cards are a little different because I don't think you would send one unless you knew who they were, but direct mail pieces, you need to have some sort of personal touch in there. So I know that a, a lot of uh, car salesmen are pretty good with their lists. They'll write little notes about, you know, if they have family, where they're from, things that they, they love, things that they're going through at that time in their lives. So that way, when you're keeping up with them, you can, you can mention those things. And you know, the other thing is, and this is just a heart thing. Um, people know when you're, when you're not being completely authentic, right? So let's say that you meet someone, a contact in your business, and you take a little note that maybe it's your, uh, they're going on a vacation to Hawaii or whatever. Um, and you write a note to them l a long time later and you ask them how their trip was to Hawaii. But there's a way people will know if you're not being authentic, that you're just doing that just to make them think that you care that they went there. So remember that 
like I talked about yesterday on my Facebook Live, it's all about your intention and what what the energy you're putting out there when you're contacting people on your list, okay? Be completely authentic. Be interested, really interested in your contacts. Be interested in them. Really want to get to know them, okay? Um, in my presentations that I'm doing about relationship marketing, um, there's three types of relationships that you have to work on when you are dealing with your customers on your list, right? The number one thing is your relationship with yourself. What kind of a person are you? Are you a real person that cares about people, that you're, you're nice? Your relationship with other people. Do you treat people the way you want to be treated? Are you, are, do you talk to them the way you want people to talk to you? Are, do you treat them with respect? And then, of course, your relationships in business. It all stems from those three things. It's like that three-legged stool. So once again, and I got to get out of here, um, your most important business asset is your contact list. And if you want some help getting that put together, and if you're not sure what it means to segment your list, call me or text message me, private message me, whatever. You can actually, if you want to set up some time to do some marketing strategy, my favorite thing to do, no charge because you guys are on here. You can go to meetwithsue.com, meetwithsue.com, and you can set up a time to um, schedule some time with me and let's do some brainstorming. So go out there, get your contact list together. I just talked to my good friend Dave and he's in his office right now. This is the time of year, you guys. It is almost, it's that holiday season. You should be sending out um, tangible greeting cards, thank you cards, you know, Thanksgiving cards. Halloween cards, and then there's Christmas. There's all kinds of things that you could be doing to touch those people on your list. So my friend Dave right now is getting his list together. He's got his giant shoe box, I'm sure, full of business cards. So <laughs> anyway, go out there, take care of your list, take care of your customers, be an honest, real, authentic um, person, business owner, and please contact me, meetwithsue.com, and uh, I'll talk to you real soon. Have an awesome day. See ya.